Here it is, the beginning of the end. Conclusions and How to Write Them by Mr. Stock So, you have written a beautiful essay that includes a brilliant hook, a stunning thesis, and three big body paragraphs. And now you're stuck wondering, how do I finish this off? A conclusion is the answer. Conclusions, like introductions, should be something the reader looks forward to. It is a place for the author to tell the reader what they should have learned or read in their paper. They can be difficult to write, but if you follow this formula, conclusions can be a snap and you can finish your paper off like a champion. Conclusions can be broke down into three different sections. First, the transition. Next, the restating of the thesis. And finally, something that I like to call the so what. We'll be discussing each of these further in this video. The first part of a conclusion is the transition. This is the easiest part. You simply tell the reader that this is the last paragraph. You could do this by saying things like so, or in summary, or finally. The next part of writing a conclusion is restating your thesis. This means that you paraphrase your thesis, or say your thesis in a different way. Please do not repeat your thesis word for word. A great way to do this is to say your thesis backwards by saying your reasons first and then your thesis. The last part of writing a conclusion answers the question, so what, or why should I care? I will be calling it the so what. This is the most interesting part of your conclusion. Just as the hook baits your reader into reading an essay, the so what is the bait that makes your essay memorable. It keeps the reader thinking. There are three different types that we will be discussing today. For all of these three examples, I will be using the thesis statement from the example above. The first of these three different types of conclusions we will be discussing is the bigger picture. This is like a reverse inverted pyramid hook. With this type, you restate your thesis and your details, but then you pull it back to more general details about the topic. You are building a complex idea and a paragraph off of your original idea. So, for example, you would start out by restating your thesis. Then, you would start talking about how all feline family is amazing, and then transition to how all animals are amazing, and then finish off at how amazing this planet is. In the call to action conclusion, you will be asking your readers to get up and do something about the problem. These are fantastic for argumentative essay writing because it gives validation to your original ideas. It's basically, because of what I have told you, this is what you should do. Writing to legislators, signing petitions, or just asking people to stop what they're doing are excellent ways to call people to action. An example of this is you take your original thesis, and then you would say something like, but these animals are an endangered species due to poaching and deforestation. Please donate to your local tiger charity to help these animals. The last way to conclude an essay that we'll be talking about today is the qualification. In this conclusion type, you are clarifying your thesis. It is explaining your thesis so the reader doesn't think that you mean something that you don't. An example of this would be, you start with your original thesis, and then you would say, that doesn't mean that all animals are bad, or that we should get rid of them. Other animals can be amazing too. I just like the tiger more than other animals. Conclusion don'ts. Please don't introduce new information. Please don't talk about things that you didn't talk about before. Please don't contradict yourself. This is a terrible time for you to prove yourself wrong. And finally, please don't copy and paste your thesis. Use different words or a different order. Remember to write a transition so that the reader knows this the beginning of the end. Make sure you restate your thesis in a new and interesting way so that it's not boring for the reader. And finally, make sure you answer the question, so what, or why should I, as a reader, care about what you have to say? Make sure you follow these and you will have an excellent essay. Thanks for listening. Now get to work. Free.
created using Powtoon.